Good morning. Just got out of the shower and today I'm going to take you guys along with me on running some errands, cleaning my house, a little nursery things. I'm going to be very subtle with it because I'm doing a nursery tour so I don't want you guys to see it but just do a little day in the life video.
normal. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because I did go into detail and explained everything on my 28 and 29 week semester recap video that I uploaded a few days ago. So go check that out if you want to know more details. But if you don't know, I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes by my OBGYN, checking my blood sugar levels. I'm supposed to be checking them every single morning and then after every single meal. So, and I'm supposed to go see a specialist sometime within the next coming weeks they're supposed to call me mid next week appointment to go in and get checked out and to do an ultrasound and for them to explain everything but the point is I do not believe that I actually have gestational diabetes because as you saw in that clip my sugar is completely normal I think that my body reacted badly to the test because you're basically sitting there drinking sugar water and if your body's not used to that it could like have the opposite effect which is what I have said before in the past and which is why they're actually trying to phase it out and do other stuff and I meant to go in and ask for an alternative test for my three hour or like second test if you fail the first one but because I was so shocked and so embarrassed and mortified about being told that I completely forgot to ask for it so I went in and did the three hour normal test failed my last two hours the first one was fine but i my second and third hour my sugar was supposedly too high and i got my lab results last night and they were th about 30 points over the threshold of what it was supposed to be but i've been checking my sugar i told that i have it and every single time my sugar has been way below the threshold nowhere near even borderline it's been way down like in the 80s the 90s very low hundreds after two hours or three hours or whatever of eating and i've tried to eat different things to uh, body handles it like drinking a coke to see how my body handles that sugar eating a piece of chocolate cake to see how my body handles that sugar eating a healthier meal like this morning i ate oatmeal and grapes which has carbs and sugar in it with sugar but it's not as much as like a bowl of frosted flakes that I add sugar into it's less than that but I checked it two hours two actually two and a half hours because I was cleaning and lost track of time my sugar was down to 91 so my sugar is completely freaking normal so I have a gut feeling I've had this gut feeling since the second time that I took my sugar after finding out that I do not have gestational diabetes that my body reacted wrong and I plan on when I go see the specialist like pretty much demanding for them to test me again or to give me another test or to come back in and do one of the alternatives and so that way because I don't want this following me around because it is very normal that and very very common for a lot of women in pregnancy to have gestational diabetes so I was highly highly embarrassed to find out that I have it and to be told that I have it because it made me feel like and it makes it seem like to the outside world that you're not taking care of yourself but when in actuality it's just how your body handles it it may not necessarily be because you're not healthy because I am I am healthy every single appointment I've gone to I am perfectly fine my blood pressure is perfect perfectly perfectly healthy I'm fine so there's no reason for me to have it especially since I'm so petite and small and even at my 28 week appointment I was told that my stomach was measuring a five so Obviously, she's tiny, and most of the time if you have gestational diabetes, you should expect a very large baby, and she's tiny. I mean, obviously, that's why we're going to have a gross crayon, because I haven't actually seen her. Like, she hasn't actually been measured through an ultrasound since my 20 weeks, so we're going to check that as well, and that will also give us a better picture into what's going on, but I don't really have the answers, and that's why I'm kind of... I was kind of skeptical about mentioning it before, but I know that I had been really adamant and I was sharing literally everything on my social media and it's just not fair that I shared that and then I just stopped after everyone knew that I was getting my results this past week. So I don't know really what's going on. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I actually have it or like I said, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any medical expertise in this. So I could be completely off base here, but my gut, my mama gut is telling me that I'm healthy. I am perfectly fine. I do not have gestational diabetes and my body just didn't process it the way that it was supposed to because it was in shock. I sat there and drank pure sugar water with flavor in it. 
I am 4'11 and 123 pounds, and I guarantee you someone, they give this exa the exact same amount, the exact same drink to someone who's 5'6 and weighs 165 pounds. I guarantee you their body's going to process that, process that much faster than mine is because I'm smaller. I'm tiny. So giving me that much sugar in this little body, it may not process it as fast as others do, but drinking, like having a normal diet like I have, which isn't healthy by any means my sugar is fine and my body is processing what I normally eat on a regular basis perfectly fine the way it should be so that's my little disclaimer there I didn't want to hide anything I didn't want anyone to like say why aren't you sharing these results you shared everything else why are you suddenly shutting down so that's why I'm sharing that that's why I shared a little I shared all the details and stuff in my updates so if you want to know more about it you can head there well, rant for this day there's my little explanation in this video for those of you that haven't seen or heard or follow me on social media or watch my other videos so there you go now 140 I'm here jotting down a bunch of notes for an and 28 week pregnancy recap i didn't record last week because i honestly completely forgot i was so focused on getting um organizing the nursery and stuff that I was doing because I was in the nursery all freaking day on Sunday and well, I don't remember what we had going on. Oh, Saturday was my baby shower and I just didn't have time. Now I am going to put like a little bit of something on my face. I'm going to go eat a snack and change over the laundry and record that video and then we're going to head out and run our errands. I didn't realize it was going to take me that long but I also had to finish writing my blog page on it that I didn't get a chance to yesterday because work was freaking insane. Changing over the laundry has been has become increasingly harder to do with this growing freaking belly. Honey, I decided to go with a Caesar salad for lunch. Brandon got um, a salad mix, so I'm not going to use that. I'm actually going to use my own stuff, my own Parmesan cheese, um, and croutons, and uh, dressing. Then what came in the pack? Um, but I'm eating a snack right now because it's almost two o'clock and I really need to eat, but I don't want to eat lunch because I want nachos for lunch, but the cans of chili that we have needs a can opener and Brandon threw out our can opener yesterday because we've had it for three years and it's really, really dull. So it wasn't cutting open the cans. So he threw it away. So now I, cause that was one of the errands I was gonna run when I go to the store. I need to get that. I have to go to Marshall's. I need to look for a duffel bag. I may do that today. I may not, I may just come home because I honestly don't want to spend a lot of money. And I'm not, cause we are redoing our stairs in our home. So that right there, Brandon just sent over a $4,000 check to them. So, that in itself, I may wait until we get paid next week to do it. I'm not sure if I feel like going up to Marshall's because I still need to work in the nursery today. But we will see how I feel. But anyway, so that's why I'm having a snack right now instead of lunch. Because I can't open the can of chili to make my nachos to eat my lunch. Alright, let's go get a can opener. I hope they have it. Alright. A couple options here. I got my can opener. Now I'm gonna go home and edit my long recap video that I did not expect to be that long and probably eat my nachos, the lunch that I wanted probably at four o'clock and then want to be eating dinner at like eight or nine. Decided not to go to Marshall's to look for a overnight slash hospital bag. Honestly, I don't feel like it and because I still have stuff to do in the nursery and I still want to relax for some part of this day. We, I probably should wait until we get paid next week before I buy it because 
I mean, we have money, but probably just have money on some floors that we're getting redone in our house. So I will see you guys, I guess, after I'm done editing. So guys, it is now 5.30 and I am about to start my nachos. I guess this is my dinner rather than lunch editing that um, my pregnancy recap video took a lot longer than I expected. Um, as y'all watch me try and open this can of chili, I'm gonna have to come back. Hold on. Alright guys, I had to fully concentrate on what I was doing because opening a can of chili is not easy. I mean, I probably, I don't know how to use one of those can of beer things properly, but, you know, whatever. So, anyway, so that video took me a lot longer to record than I wanted to, and then while it was exporting on my phone, I went and uh, went into the nursery and took a bunch of the boxes and stuff out of there. Damn it. Y'all don't mind me. I had boxes and stuff out of there from like unpacking and unpackaging all the stuff that we got this weekend and stuff from the baby shower last week. Why does this chili look nasty? Brandon got one with no beans in it. This chili does not look like chili. It looks like mush. It smells good. <laughs> That looks so good. Now I would normally put shredded lettuce on it, but we don't have any. And while it was cooling down a bit, I went ahead and changed over the laundry. I have one more load to do after that one and then three more to go in the dryer. But now I'm gonna go sit down and eat. I'm about to head into the nursery and work on some of the stuff. I do wanna this. So I did move this out of there. It's a basket that I've had for a while, but I put all of my breastfeeding stuff in there. And then this bassinet that I've shown before, it's going to go over there or like, you know, right next to the bed, but it was over half of my mirror. So I moved it to that corner so I can actually use my mirror until she gets here. Anything down here on the floor that I want to organize. This is her diaper caddy that I have. And I already put a couple of stuff in here. Um, an extra thing of wipes. We're doing first brand of, um, what we want to use. So we got a mixture of a bunch of stuff. And we're just going to see what she likes to react, what she'll react. Pack of newborn diapers right here. I have some in the, one of the drawers in the dresser. And then I'm going to put some in this diaper caddy. And then I'm also going to put some in that basket in my room. Obviously, that's not how it's going to be. But that's how we're going to have it set up for now. And then we're also going to put together, this is her bow organizer that I ordered from Amazon.
I just finished organizing the bows that I do have. Those are from the baby shower. We played a bow game. I put not all of them up there because the other ones are really tiny and they're more like barrettes than bows. And then I have headbands all the way down. These go to like matching outfits and stuff that came with outfits. And these at the end. These ones are all individual bows that came off of Amazon that I wanted that were on my registry. I have a couple more packs on there. I obviously don't have enough room to keep everything on here. Might order another one to put it on this side of the closet, but or I could find another cute place to display them as well, but put the bulk of them in here. And then these baskets right here, this is her organizer. So I took her bath stuff out of the last drawer in her dresser and put the towels that we do have in here. I only have four towels. I need to get more. And then some bath stuff that we got from the shower. And we have two different bins of washcloths. And then this one I have size two diapers in. Obviously it's not going to stay like this, but I want to get rid of the box. And this is where I plan on storing a lot of items or extra items so I can make room in her dresser. I have four of these baskets. There's nothing in those two just those two and I was able to clear out some stuff up here. That's her bath and those are um, electrical plug things. And then that white box right there is her um, baby monitor that we have not put on her crib yet. Oh, well, I lied, there's stuff in here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I got that hand and foot casting kit as a gift for my baby shower and then I have a bunch of booklets and stuff of like directions and how to put things together and stuff like that of the furniture that we've gotten and I also cut out the directions for the swaddles because I don't really know how to swaddle that well. Also, I wanted to keep those just in case for a minute and then I'll be able to throw them out once I get the hang of it once she's here. So that's all that I'm doing. I'm actually about to go meet my friend. She wants to eat. Um, I'm not going to eat anything because I already ate dinner. I'm just going to sit there with her for company and do that. I am done in here for today. All right, so I just got back in the restaurant with my friend. I sat with her so she didn't have to sit alone. I put the sheets back on my bed, changed over the laundry. This is that were mixed in with it, and I just have to put um, the pillowcases back on my pillows. But first, I'm gonna check my sugar. I checked it earlier, as you can see. I kind of left it. I didn't really say anything because honestly, I was kind of shocked, and I felt really weird about it. I literally had just gone on a rant literally today in my C update stating how there's no way I have GD and that I just, it doesn't make any sense and that my sugar has never been high. And then I check my sugar after dinner and it's high. First time it's ever been high since, since I have been doing it myself. Check it about 20 minutes earlier than what I was supposed to because I was leaving to go meet her and I didn't want to take this into the restaurant with me. But, oh, I only have one lamp left. That sucks. I'm going to have to go get some from Brandon tomorrow. But, and I don't necessarily have to check it tonight, but I'm checking it because I want to make sure it went down. But it was because it was at 153, which is only about 14 points over the threshold. So it's not a bad, it's not a big deal. Over, and that's the first high reading I have gotten. So it kind of freaked me out for a second. I'm like changing up my diet and like different things that I've been eating to see how my body like my sugar reacts to it and I'm thinking that it's the sweet tea because I drank sweet tea with this with my nachos as you guys saw so I think it's more of the sugar than the carbs that are doing it because I had no beans in that chili so the only carbs that was in that was the tortilla chips and then there's a ton of sugar in my sweet tea that we make so I'm thinking that it's the tea but I just want to double check my sugar tonight even though I don't really have to because I want to make sure that it went down so that's what I'm gonna do right now I had to stop my four times earlier because my finger just would not freaking bleed earlier so mm -hmm. hopefully it gets it on the first time I did not say Alexa on out not bleeding enough hopefully that's enough I don't think it's gonna be enough but we're gonna try it Now 
Nope, it wasn't enough. I'm struggling to get blood on my finger. Come on. Damn it, it still wasn't enough. And this is not cheap. Okay, this one finally worked and my sugar's down to a 79. So it went way down. So I'm perfectly fine now. And it has been, what time is it? 10, 16. So I ate at five, like 5.45 if I remember correctly, but I didn't finish eating until probably about 6.05. So 6.05, 7.05, 8.05, 9.05, 10.05, five hours and my sugar's down to a 79. So I'm good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end this day in the life vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.